A hairstylist who's really passionate about her career finds herself on the sidelines now. She's struggling to recover from a scary disorder. May is Guillaume Barre Awareness Month. Fox 4's Tia Johnson live at Amara Salon in Waldo with one woman's story of how it's impacting her life, Tia. Yeah, John, well, this is where Amy Rodriguez should be, but she was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre. And to give you an example uh, of how that is impacting her job and what she does, if she were to turn on this water, she wouldn't be able to tell how cold or hot it is. I never imagined one day I would wake up and I wouldn't be able to feel or walk or use my hands. Instead, she thought she'd be here working at her shop. In a blink of a, an eye, it can be different. A different lifestyle for Amy Rodriguez for two months. I feel lost in, in a lot of ways um, and lonely. Rodriguez says it started with a respiratory infection. She was taking prescribed medication and woke up with numb hands and legs. And that was on a Saturday that that happened. And by the following Saturday when I woke up, I couldn't feel my arms or my legs anymore. By the time Rodriguez made it to the ER, she couldn't walk. Doctors told her it was sensory Guillain-Barre syndrome, or GBS. I cannot feel touch on my hands or in my feet. Meaning she can't work at the shop, walk by herself, or drive, among other things. They'll progress over the course of days to weeks, and then it reaches its peak, and then it's all about getting better. Neurologist Dr. Karen Old says recovery from GBS is different for everyone. Rodriguez says doctors told her it could take one to two years. So for now, she's taking it one step at a time. I've thought many times in this situation that if I didn't have the people surrounding me in my life that are helping me, I, I don't know what I would do. And Rodriguez's phys insurance is only covering 12 physical therapy sessions, so her friends created a GoFundMe account to make sure she gets full treatment. We have a link to that if you'd like to donate in the story on our website at fox4kc.com. Tia Johnson, Fox 4, working for you.